Hi, I'm Josh Mapped, and here we have a new 13-inch MacBook Pro from 2015 featuring OS X 10.10, Yosemite. The new operating system, Yosemite, has some differences in how things happen when you set it up. Now, if you're buying a computer from Apt, our technicians can go through the setup for you, install a second browser, kind of tune it up, run updates, get Adobe Flash, and all those things you should be doing when you set up a new computer. Or, if you want to see how this works, we're going to show you step by step what it takes to go through that setup process. All right, here we go. We got our new MacBook Pro, and this is the 13-inch 2015 model, which features that Force Touch trackpad. But without further ado, power button. Here we go. There's that lovely chime. While it's booting up, which will be fast because of flash memory, that Force Touch trackpad, if you're lucky to get it, if you didn't know, it's not clicking down like a regular trackpad. The haptic feedback makes you think it's clicking. Anyway, so option number one. Use English for the main language. Done. All right, so standard information. I'm choosing United States. I use a United States keyboard. Continue. And I'm going to jump onto my local Wi Fi. I don't have a password. If you did, it would ask you right now to enter your Wi Fi password. So make sure you have that information handy. Once it connects to Wi Fi, I have an opportunity right now. So you've got three op or two options. For transferring data, that is. From a Mac, Time Machine Backup, or Startup Disk. What does that mean? That means I could connect an Apple computer. I could uh, connect an Apple computer from Firewire to Thunderbolt using the Thunderbolt to Firewire adapter. Uh, you could uh, go ahead and plug in your external hard drive that has your, <clears throat> your old Time Machine backups. Uh, or if the old external hard drive has been, or the old internal hard drive has been taken out of your computer, you could connect it to a harness and connect it to Thunderbolt or USB. Or you have a Windows computer, and here you have an opportunity to connect your uh, Windows computer. So these are options to transfer data. I'm not going to do that right now. We are going to set this up as brand new. And if you wanted to transfer data, feel free to select this anyway, because that way you could just transfer your data manually. All right, signing in with your Apple ID. Definitely you should do this. I'm going to skip it. But enter your username and password for your Apple ID. That'll enable the ability for you to activate iCloud and all sorts of features like the App Store, iMessage, FaceTime, and so forth. And continue. I'm sorry, I'm skipping that one because I did not enter my ID. All right, here's the part where if you want to, you can read a whole bunch of terms and conditions. I'm going to click Agree and Agree. Okay, creating my account. All right, so my name is Josh Davis. If I tab down to the next field, it'll automatically create, this is called a short name. The short name merges my first and last name. That's common. Um, if I want to, I can go in there and you know give it my nickname. I'm going to change it to the technologist. That's my nickname. Now, what does this name mean? This name represents your home folder. So when you ultimately get into your computer and you have the home folder that represents your documents, pictures, music, movies, folders, this is the name under the house and it's not easy to change. So make sure that you're comfortable with what it is. Technically, there should be no uh, spaces and no uh, capital letters. Keep it all lowercase. And I have to create a password. I'm just going to use the space bar once. I could create a hint that says, hey, your password is your favorite, blah, blah, blah. Otherwise, I'm going to continue. Obviously, leaving set time zone based on current location. So here I go. It's going to create my account. now. You have the option to choose these features where basically you're just going to be helping Apple. So you can leave them checkmarked and information can kind of flow to Apple and Apple can get stronger as far as how they can provide you updates and stuff like that. So go ahead and leave them checked or if you'd rather not, just simply uncheck them. It's really an optional screen. Continue. We are just about done. This screen is a good sign that we're pretty much there. All right. There's El Capitan. Welcome to Yosemite, your new Mac operating system. Everything right now is ready to go, and uh, we're pretty much done with the complete setup. Uh, last couple pointers, you'll have Safari's web browser installed. Uh, at Apt, our technicians love to install a second browser, just in case you ever have a problem with your first browser. Uh, Google Chrome is recommended just because it has built-in um, Flash support. Or you're going to need to go to Adobe's website and install Flash so Safari can be compatible with Flash content. Otherwise, guys, you're pretty much good to go. If you need to, you can always go back into System Preferences. Here's where you have the option to alter the users and groups' names. Here I could change my name, change my information. 
Uh, I'm going to actually unlock this padlock real quick and show you. If I right click my username, there's now advanced options. And here you can go in here and, and alter the account name. And be careful though, when you change this types of, these types of settings, there's even a warning that you could screw your computer up. In the past, changing the short name has been a bit, big dangerous scenario. So try not to mess with it. But I could change my full name. Like I didn't capitalize my letters. I want a capital Josh. Oops, I could fix it here. Anyway, so those are your pointers on how you get it going. There's not much left to do. You're ready to rock. And if you ever travel anywhere else, your Wi-Fi logo is right here. You can jump on the Internet, plug in your external hard drive, set up your time, time machine backups, and you're ready to rock. We have a lot of Apple computers on Apps website. We stock many configurations. And if there's something we don't have, let us know. We'll get it for you.